you want to choose your fonts or your typography. Just like your color scheme, we always suggest that you limit that to a, a few, you know, two, three or four at max, because you're gonna have different stationaries, you're gonna have flyer designs, you're gonna have different purposes to use those fonts, but still you kinda wanna limit yourself, don't go too crazy. You know, you made a good point the other day um, and you told a client to start with some basic fonts because they were not sure of what they want their font to look like. Can you tell us more about why? Yeah, for sure. So, you know, like I always say, less is more and you know, Fonts are no different. Mm -hmm. So when you're building your brand and you're figuring out your font for your letterhead or for your logo, or whatever the case may be, you wanna use a, a simplified font because you don't want it to be hard to read. Um, you know, a lot of times, bad logos that I see that are on the market, it's because I can't read it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Or I can't uh, initially understand what they're trying to convey to me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that in itself, is a challenge, but you know the reason why we say think of a think of it from a simplified perspective is because let's say you use a font that isn't necessarily readable. How successful can that brand really be? You know, I can't read it, and that's not to say you can't read the words, but you know you don't want to use something that's not going to be appealing to the eye. And so when you utilize fonts that are a little bit more dramatic, if you will, uh, a little bit more uh, unique and, and, you know, stylish and stuff like that, you know, you can run into different barriers when it comes to, you know, promoting your brand or, or printing up merch or, you know, right. those types of cases. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those type of t-shirts where you have a big logo and you have a small letter under it and you don't mm -hmm. really understand what it is. So. Right. Yeah. So, you know, you just have to keep that in mind because you, you want something that's nice and clean. You mm -hmm. know, I always think nice and clean because that'll take you way further than something that's unique and <laughs> you think it's just popping, popping. You <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? Um, but it happens, you know, that's why you work with your marketing professionals mm -hmm. um, to develop your brand because a lot of times, you know, you need to be focusing on what you're developing, you know, what you're good at. And don't try to be the designer and the CEO and the, you know, the printer and all of that good stuff. Leave that to the marketing agency. Yeah, so limit those numbers of fonts that you choose. Consider that. What is that going to look like, you know? Like you said, on your merch, on your website, and your social media marketing. So, hey, when it comes to choosing those fonts and typography, stick to the bare minimum. Start so, with the basics, like and, you said. And when you're branding, another good point that I didn't necessarily mention before is, you know, you don't want to utilize multiple fonts because it's going to be too busy. It's going to look mm -hmm. too jumbled up. And, you know, let's say your letterhead has one fund and then your flyer has another fund. That's not to say you can't do that and still be successful in your branding, but it could look like you're all over the place. Right. And that's what you don't want to do. You want everything about your brand to look cohesive as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, so ways to capture that is by keeping things the same. Less is more. I love the less is more approach. So not only does it work for your color scheme, but it works for your typography and the fonts as well. Definitely. Yes.